Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be trying out Melee on a quite a common team I've been seeing recently which is kind of weird. This is like a full Sin CC team that's basically built to go first. What I mean by that is of course you have... You, Escort doesn't do anything in the back right but he's only here because he provides a nice chunk of CC. That's really it. And we're going to be trying the full Sin's team. This should go quite well hopefully. I've seen a lot of people use this of course in my True Awakening. It's kind of horrible at the moment because Super expensive. We got a collab on the horizon, so of course I've been saving my super awakening coins just in case the collab characters are half decent. And of course saving LR coins for LR Glocks, as LR Glocks from what the skills and passives have been leaked is going to be absurd. But anyway, uh yeah, let's get into it. On to the first match. Uh it seems like a real player. I'm playing at like peak hours. Oh, okay, of course. Uh, this team has like no single talk. <laughs> Oh no. 6-6, six, 1-6. Six, six. It doesn't matter if I disable Bomb, because Bomb will just cleanse himself. Uh, I'm just going to do this. I have to sing. If I don't single target, I lose, because I'll kill Fraudrin, and I can't survive a 6-6 six, six, um, Transcendent Bomb. But I need to get rid of Melee. Because melee will enable um, everyone else to cleanse, which is not kind of what I want. All those debuffs, oh my god! So this is the melon. It's because of how strong melon is. Melon just gives me so much stuff, and the reason I actually kept um, annual is in back. Okay. God damn. Okay, I guess I got all rush. <laughs> oh goodness sake! I can't all rush melon because my melon is just gonna tickle. He's got three barn cards. Of course, he bloody has three barn cards. Well, I am dead, because that's 6-6. Six, six. I can't kill him. I don't think he can kill me, either. He might be able to kill my barn. If he kills my barn, I'm in slight trouble. Okay. No, but that's good. Actually, that's not good, because he removed one of my skills. Well, that's like five six. That's like at least three six letters. It's like between three and five. It's three. Yeah. You can tell by the, the damage reduction. Um... I can't do anything. I'm dead now. If I attack, I die. That's literally what happens. If I attack, I die. I think I'm dead anyway, because he's 6-6. Six, six. I can't kill him, because I'll then have to kill Fraudrin in the process. So, unfortunate thing is that there's so many suicide teams, because AoEs are so prevalent currently, which is kind of sad. Uh... Yeah, no, mate. Oh, damn, he actually gets the ult off. But, yeah. This, this is just the cringy verse in PvP nowadays. Because, like, nobody knows how to actually use a normal team. It's mainly, like, the whales that use these sort of teams. The people that have, like, two characters 6-6. Six, six, that have, like, insanely broken ultimates like this. Maybe this person isn't a whale, right? But they've got, like, Bond 6-6. Six, six, and what they'll do is they'll basically just say, I don't have to play the game. So I'm just gonna roll rush. Because that's, unfortunately, the meta we live in. On to the next match. Please, no Feral Drain. Because I'm, cause I'm in Champ 2. You verse, like, a lot of, like, the, like, really, like, sweaty teams. We go first. 217, and they've got all the S, they've got all SR, SSR outfits on. 1, 6, and then, okay. They could actually be, wait. I could kill DK. And I can actually AoE, oh my god. I'm not actually going to be, I'm not actually going to be that greedy though. Uh, I will do this though. I do, I'll be a little bit greedy, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll be a tiny bit greedy. I want to get the melee AoE off, basically. Just because it'll give the defense lower to all of them. I could use Merlin's AoE, but Merlin doesn't actually hit too hard. Even though she has, you know, she's got a relic now and stuff, but she's still not the best, unfortunately. Oh, I should be okay here though. Maybe I should actually play two AoEs. That's fine. Bond's quite tanky because I got so many debuffs on them. No, don't do that. Anything but that. Uh, I actually kind of have to <laughs> actually have to do this. Um, so technically, right? I can do this. Uh, yeah, I'll do this, this, and then technically this will give me the rank up with melee, and I can just like try and kill his melee. Maybe I don't know. 
It's actually not bad damage. I give credit where credit is due, it's not bad. Damn it, we don't kill. Do we kill his melee though? That's the question. Of course we do! Of course! CC is what wins this meta now. Or Suicide Fraudron with the 6-6 character. But we don't talk about that. <laughs> the person's still trying. Fair enough. It could be a bot though. I'm not too sure. Because I don't know why, but so many bots will just target a uh, bot. I don't know why. I don't think he's got the lowest stats. Oh, his own commandment's in play. Because I killed Demon King. I forgot about that. Um, you know, I would preferably... Actually, I'll just I'll do this first. I would actually preferably like... I think this is actually a real player. Uh, I would preferably uh, like for Margaret to die this time. We do get a Starosa, which means the Darkness does disappear, because Darkness actually works for every ally. And now we can just spam a bunch of debuffs. Oh my god, she almost survived that. The difference between when Melee crits and doesn't crit is actually insane. Oh, was that? Is that actual? Maybe, maybe I'm just lagging a little bit. But my internet has been a little bit dodgy these past few days. But it was a bot, but we did win. Melee hits very hard. Anyway, on to the next match. On to another match. We loaded in instantly with this one. Oh, this person outfits for Melee. I still go first though. Maybe evade, or it could be a bot because I loaded in like instantly. It was like instant load. They have outfits, uh, they have also got the diseased link on that man. I do kind of want to kill this man turn one. He is true awaken, which means he's going to tank a little bit better. Or do I just go for AoE sp I might just go with AoE spam actually. I might just AoE spam, just just a tiny bit. I want to see how much damage Merlin can do now, because of course she's got like the melees. Oh, oh, that damage on Esterosa, I know it's type advantage, but that's actually quite good. No, he was so close from killing Esterosa. Why did you have to screw it up? Why? Uh, so, the only good thing, right, about them having Red Tarmel Link is I can guarantee, if they don't even play a debuff skill, I can guarantee get my upgrade next turn because Melon has a debuff because she double attacked into Red Tarmel. It's actually really funny, the fact you can do that. Basically guarantee it. Yeah, well, he's going to tank and then I get upgrade next turn. Thank you. No, I tank here, get upgrade. Thank you. I can now remove this man. Uh, I don't actually care if Estorosa lives, to be 100% honest. Like, Estorosa is like, he's quite a key part of the team, but by himself, I don't think he can really do much. This man is going to get sent to the Shadow Realm. This man is gone. Goodbye. Damage cap, there we go. Unless just Estorosa left. And then probably Cusack. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> As I thought. This team is like, if you have like all this team built, it's actually very good. Like, the only person who really has full outfits on the, on this team is Escanor, and then Barn. I am going to get encouraged, but it's fine. Come on, tank it. Yeah, go on, Barn. Like, Clan Clan's the encroachment. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, I kind of just want to double AoE with Merlin. Because I know Merlin, Merlin's going to get like, like a lot of damage on this dude. Also, she might end up killing Kusa, uh, Kusek as well, because she has the uh, the thingy increase. The damage increase from Barn. Or from Melee. Those crates are a little bit sad. Not going to lie. She ain't critting. I know her crit chance is lowered by Kusak, but still. You can't kill Barn. Barn, Barn is Barn the Immortal. Barn never die. Barn has so much life steal. Um, I'll just use this. Barn, Barn, so much damage this is gonna do. This is like tons of damage. Yeah, three hundred thirty-five k on Kusak, who probably had maybe like a hundred and fifty k max. Yeah, Barn is in. This team is really good. I actually really love this team. The damage, lovely. Want to get another bot? I am playing during peak hours though, which is kind of sad. The fact I'm not actually versing anyone. On to the next match. On to another match. Against Hell and Albedo. Okay. 226, that's CC food. If that's not CC's food, I am going to cry. Uh, it's not CC food. Oh my god, bro, what is this whale, bro? Like, relax, man. Uh. 
I'm just doing this. I know I know he's going to be disabled by Elytra. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm just trying to big brain currently. Bond, that's actually super good damage. Honestly, that is very good damage. Uh, I'm not going to be able to cleanse the disabled though because I'm an idiot and I completely forgot about it. That's fine. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna just spam. Is he gonna kill? No, because damage reduction is insane. That's gonna do a lot though, because six six irons does a lot of damage for no apparent reason. So I should get two orbs. I could like Merlin AOE first, but then Merlin would take too much damage. Um. Of course, like the one player I verse in a while is a goddamn hum literal mega whale. It's probably an AI as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it's an AI. Someone, look, that was Melly with the attack relate. Oh, bro, actually no CBA. Actually, CBA. No, I'm not versing a whale like that. I can't be asked. It's not fun. Look, it's a bot. Like honestly, insane amount of money spent. I made a mistake last game and said that that was with the attack relate stat boost. That was not with the attack relate stat boost. We do go first. Okay, this man does not have a Tomiel. He doesn't also have True Awakening either. I kind of want to be greedy though. He has got a lot of damage reduction. Uh, of course, from... It's a real player. That's actually a shock. I don't get as much damage reduction as possible. I'm going to be greedy. Come on, Merlin. Show me this true damage. This relic damage. That is damage from a character that is a relic. That, that is not damage from a good character. That's damage from a character that is a relic. It's an ancient character damage. He's only got two uh, the orbs. Uh, and also I get upgrade next turn, so I can actually kill his melee. And then I'll try and kill um, this man as well at the same time. If he AoEs me, I st uh, the only person who won't cleanse is Merlin. Yep. I think Demon King actually has quite a high base crit chance. It's a double AoE. Please don't be double AoE. Okay, single tight, that's fine. I'm completely fine with that. I don't mind a single tight. Uh, thank you. How much HP have you got? 100k. My cat is, once again, being super loud for no apparent reason. Because that's just my cat. Anyway, we're going to try and remove Demon King here. Okay, Demon King, because when Demon King dies, they'll lose crit chance. And we actually gain attack, because Cusack's currently lowering our attack by 4% per demon on the field. So we gain 4% attack, he's just lost 20% damage reduction. And we kill. Easy as that. <laughs> There's the forfeit. And of course, the King Melly himself. It's, yeah. Once again, 226 isn't bad, of course, probably CC food. But of course, the Sins have a lot of CC, especially with the new Melly. You know, Barnes already got a lot of CC. Melon has okay CC. Escadron, once again, LR has a lot of CC. Into the next match. On to another match. Hopefully, another real player. I want to verse more real players. Preferably Demon Tombs, not Goddess Tombs. Don't want to really verse Goddess Tomb. Especially with this team. <laughs> this team would do horrible. Okay, Alberta, okay. Alberta's actually still pretty prevalent in the meta, which is it's cool. It's actually quite cool. Do, do, do. Uh, she has Rattarm, not first. What plays first? No, the hell debuff will apply first, so I can't actually cleanse Barn. I don't need to. So this would trigger Evade, if they got Evade. Yeah, which is fine, that's good. And then we can just lower her crit chance to zero. Oh my god, Barn's actually hitting crits. And my guess is that this is a... Newer player, if Bond's hitting crits like that, because Alberta actually is quite is, she has quite nice crit resistance. They're gonna double AOE. Please don't double AOE. Well, I beg. Okay, Bond took the most damage, which was actually kind of a shock. Okay, he has disabled his own tier, which is lovely. It's actually quite nice for me. Bro, this person, this person wants, really, really badly wants to kill my team. Or, well, not my team, but just, uh... 1-6. Okay, nothing to really be afraid of then. 
uh, I'll do some barn damage, and then we'll try and kill. So what this will do is that this will uh, upgrade my melee, because I've triggered the effect on Albedo. Then we do some damage here with Barn, and we kill Albedo, because if we remove Albedo, we actually remove like quite a, a nice portion of their damage. Also, Tear's disabled, so I'm quite less scared of Tear. I'm not really that scared of, a, of the disabled Tear. Um, I can actually get another upgrade next turn. If I... Because this if my melee survives, or if Barn survives, um, I should be actually in the clear. Albedo's de sorry, uh, her debuffs are already irritating though. Hell's debuffs are like a pain. I absolutely hate them. D I hope this person knows that their tier is disabled. Of course he can still crit because it's tier. That's gonna do like nothing. Like I said. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> There's no way I'm surviving that, it's hell. Yeah, I don't understand why people will hate on hell. She's so strong. Now I'm just stuck with these two bloody floppy noodles. And that man. Please, I just want Bond. Bro, what is this? Screw it, we're just going to double Merlin. If Merlin doesn't clutch up, this loss was on Merlin. Merlin, it's all up to you. I want to see your true power. And you can't crit, fair enough. The fact is that she didn't kill anyone, even though she had type advantage, even on the Nashi, it's actually stupid. If I actually got barn skills, I could have won that. But of course, you know, RNG, uh, and of course, Hell is actually quite a good festival still. Which is, it's actually kind of a shock how good Hell still is, even though the meta is so, like, Melee is so strong, the fact that Hell is still able to compete with Melee and actually one-shot him still, like, without needing, you know, an attack or insane attack related stat buff, like what Melee needs. On to the next match. This will be our last match. <clears throat> Against demons, cool. We do go first, which is nice. Mail link, okay, 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 okay. 6-6 six, six, Esther, that is pretty standard nowadays. I'm just gonna do the normal damage thing. Get a crap ton of debuffs on them for Merlin's damage reduction. It will disable Merlin once again, she'll just cleanse it herself, and then next turn I get the melee upgrade, and I can one-shot their melee, and then of course kill, um, I can just kill Demon King with Bon. There we go. It's basically guaranteed we've won this. I don't see any sort of, unless you know he pulls a golden, unless he gets a golden Escanor AoE, and he's got any 6-6 Escanor, that's the only way I see this guy winning. Double, it's triple AoE. Maybe, no, it's, you know, it's, it's probably double AoE single target. Yeah. It doesn't matter anyway. He's blocked his effect. He's gonna cleanse himself here. Actually, no, he won't. He'll get the max defense right stat boost instead. Because he's not a max. Yeah. Man was coping so hard. <laughs> I have so much damage reduction, bro. I've got like 50% damage reduction. I've got 15% basic stats. I've got the extra 21% from his passive. I've got an extra 15% HP related stats from this man. I'm not dying from something like that. Unfortunately, that was it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This team is pretty good, but of course, a problem is, is that Merlin, if she absorbs lots of the cards, she can't put out insane amounts of damage. Of course, with her ult, of course, if you're 6-6, six, six, it'll be very good, because her ult is actually quite strong at 6-6. Six, six. But if you're like 1-6, 2-6, 3-6, 4-6, it's like, eh, damage is kind of mediocre. If you don't have all the weapons like myself, she's she's okay at best. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.